Hi everyone, this is Shanali Sabarwal and I am going to bring to you today a lovely preparation that I swear by. It's my classic kraut uh, preparation um, which is really simple to make, uh, not very complicated but gives you a whole new, uh, you know, range of uh, bacterial strains coming in uh, it looks a bit intimidating but it's actually not it's really very simple and I wanted to put it quickly up here so you could uh, you know start incorporating it in your day-to-day uh, -day routine just two tablespoons with any meal and you're gonna be fine it's gonna you know really add a whole new dimension to your uh, life so here it is let's get into it Basically, you just need uh, these three items, shredded cabbage, uh, salt, and a mason jar to make this preparation. Add one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons to one head of cabbage. I know that seems a bit, but what you're going to see happening is as I press it down and press in, this is literally like you're kneading dough. What's going to happen is the salt is going to eat into the cabbage and draw out all the sugars. And then we are going to have this cabbage reduce. Now I've used my hands to, if you see the volume has decreased. So I've used my hands but you can optionally use a potato masher. Not mandatory if you find that, you know, but nothing like working with your hands because it gets all that energy of that bacterial exchange which is going to start happening with this cabbage now if you see the volume of the cabbage has literally reduced to half and there's a lot of water see that okay so now i'm just going to keep doing that for a bit so that i get all the water see that now the next step is just simply taking your cabbage and packing it into a mason jar you see that how I'm packing it. And all the water that's come out of this uh, cabbage, shredded cabbage, I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to start pressing down this cabbage. And if you see while I'm pressing down, there's a lot of water that's being created. You've got to keep that liquid in there because that liquid is what the lacto-fermentation is all about. The lactic acid, as we call it, is going to build up. And what you can do is, if you, you can save the ends of your cabbage and actually use it to press this down. If you do this, the idea is to keep this submerged under water. If you see... There's a lovely buildup of liquid. This has all happened naturally. It's a natural process. And all I'm going to do is just shut this jar and cover it and then set it aside in a quiet area for about anywhere from three days to seven days to 15 days. What I literally do is I just wrap it up like that. This is what I do, dark, and keep it in a warm space. And my kitchen's usually the warmest space of the house. This is what your prepared preparation looks like. It's all done. It, this has been lying uh, for 15 days on its own and I just put it in the refrigerator. Okay, and this is how your shredded probiotic wild fermentation good gut bacteria in this looks like now that you've seen the recipe you can do a ferment anywhere from three days seven days to 15 days do not get scared of ferments uh, you can leave them alone keep them in a warm place just make sure that there's water above the cabbage so the cabbage is submerged under the water that's the key to keeping a good uh, ferment going uh, all you need is salt and uh, the cabbage you really don't need anything and the technique that I've displayed in the recipe Good luck and uh, strengthen your digestion always and keep the probiotics up. Bye.